hello again. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading any recently. I've been doing quite a bit of editing um, on After Effects. Um, and I just haven't got round to it. What with my editing and my thumbnail, you know. Um, it's actually been kind of difficult to make a tutorial, but... Um, I'm going to come at you with one today, and this is just going to be a simple glowing lines tutorial. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, go ahead and open up Photoshop. As you can see, I'm going to be working on a picture of Eva Mendes. Um, you know, work with whatever image you want. Um, if you don't know how to import an image, just head up to File, Open. Um, or as you can see there, it says Shortcut is Control O. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, we can move on. Um, so I've got my image. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is create a new layer. So if I head down to this little icon here, click on that. Once I've created my new layer, I'm going to click and select my background and then click and drag this to make another new layer so this will create a background copy so now we got our background, our background copy and our layer on our, on our layer we're going to head over to our pen tool which is just under your dodge tool um, make sure you got that selected and then we're going to head over to our image and we're just going to mask where we want our line to be um, so I'm going to make a point here I'm going to head down to around about here click and hold and then as you can see when I drag it'll bring the pen tool round now as you can see that line is now pointing around here so I'm just going to click here and then do the same I'm just going to click and hold and then drag it back round so I'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the image. Um, when you get to the bottom, just you know, take the line off the image. Um, and then we're done with our baseline. Um, so now we've got that, we're going to want to head over to our brush tool. Uh, hit this little drop down arrow. And put our width on about 8 pixels. Um, and our hardness on around about 80 um, so now we're going to want to select our base colour I'm going to go with uh, a bright red um, so I've selected the colour in my palette um, I've selected the size and the hardness of my brush um, so I can get to creating the stroke um, so again I'm going to bring up my pen tool uh, I'm going to right click and then go stroke path um, it will come up with this little drop down arrow option click that and make sure we got brush selected um, and then hit ok and as you can see it will uh, put a stroke to our pen tool um, so now we've got this we can move on to uh, what? well I was going to keep my baseline red but for the sake of the tutorial, I'll show you how to make it multicolored. Um, so if we create another layer, um, then head over to our brush tool again. You know, make this a bit bigger now using your square brackets. Left one makes it smaller, right one makes it bigger. Or you can just hit your drop down arrow. And then I'm going to select a different color from my red. So, you know, like a, a piercing green. Um, and then. I'm just going to paint over this line as rough as I like. I'm going to have my hardness on around about 30%. Make my brush a bit bigger than that. Uh, this way it blends and it's, it's not too sharp. And I'm, as you can see, I'm just going to paint a bit of green there. Selecting blue. Um, not being careful at all when I'm painting this line because we're going to create a clipping mask and um, that will get rid of any excess colour so you know just go wild um, and maybe a bright yellow so as you can see I left the top here because I want this to be red um, so yeah now once we've painted that if you haven't just pause the video go ahead do it all get the colours you want or leave it one colour if you want it one colour and uh, we can move on so now we've done that we're going to want to hold head over to our layers and then hold alt 
on our keyboard um, and then just click in between the two layers and as you can see it will create this clipping mask um, now I've done that I'm going to click on layer 1 and then double click on layer 1 um, so it brings up your layer styles um, I'm going to move this over to the left no the right so we can see what we're doing here this is going to be awkward I'll tell you what, let's move it down here, right so I've got my layer styles um, and the first one I'm going to head to is outer glow so I'm going to click on that uh, I'll make my out. well my background's black so I'll make my outer glow white so I'm going to click on this little square box make it white turn my opacity right up hit this little drop down arrow and turn it to normal um, so as you can see now I've got an outer glow and I'm going to go for a stroke um, because my outer glow is white I'm going to make my stroke white maybe turn the, the size of no uh, leave the size about 3 blend mode normal opacity about 90 I'm going to head back into my outer glow again and just make the spread a bit bigger uh, and maybe the size um, so this just widens my um, outer glow and then I can always drop an inner glow in there if I want you know this would tone it down a bit but I don't want to drop an out inner glow in you know if you if you want to you go for it um, so now I've done that I'm going to hit OK um, grab my pen to all to do that. Alright. Sorry about that. Right. So now as you can see I've filled it in the different colours I want. Um I've created my outer glow. And uh now I'm just gonna go ahead um and zoom in on it. And uh I'm gonna find which part of the line I want to go behind the body bring up my razor tool put my hardness on zero and bump my brush size up a tad and then I'm just going to begin to erase this right, so for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to rush it so as you can see I want that line to go behind the head um, and then it's going to come back over and then here it's going to go behind the body like so and I'm just going to do this for you know the whole line so I'm going to go ahead and pause the tutorial because I've taken up quite a lot of time already um, and then you can do this and we'll move on um, so yeah look now I've erased those lines I'm going to want to head again get rid of this path here so I'm just going to head to my pen tool again um, right click and just hit delete path and that will get rid of that annoying line going through the middle um, and what you should get is this look that the lines going behind the image uh, then coming back over it going behind it again obviously I rushed mine and it looks a bit tacky but I hope yours will be looking a bit better um, and as far as the tutorial goes I think that's about it I mean we click on our top top layer and then hit Control E and then Control E again to merge this all down into our background copy. Um, I've got some white dots here which I don't want, but as I said, I rushed this. Um, when I click this eyeball, you can see the before and after. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, I know this was extremely rushed, like I said, I, I want to get back to my editing, I actually stopped editing a video, um, so I could do this tutorial, because I was looking at my YouTube and hadn't uploaded one in a while, so I thought I'd get around to it, um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, tell, me if, tell me if this helped, uh, leave a comment, and I'll answer to it as soon as I can, um, I don't know what this keeps coming up for, but so yeah, thanks a lot.